Hi guys, welcome to this session on OneNote. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a template in OneNote and how you can create an index link in OneNote. So you can see here, I have a link where I can just basically click on these icons and it'll take me to that relevant section or page. If I just come back to the, the front screen and I can just jump about quickly. Now there's no point doing this if you've just got one page and one list because obviously you can see all the things down this right hand side. But this is all about creating hyperlinks if you like to different elements within different sections. And also in this section I want to look at how to create a template. So on the insert tab there's templates and that's one I've created there but if I go to page templates you can see them these are all the preset templates and then my templates at the top I've just got one so I can click that and it will create me a page with this title I've already got one but already set up so that's what I want to go through and show you how I've done that so first off let's create a new book so new file I'll call this Excel Excel training great book and you can see it sits there with all the rest of them so if I call this section one main and then I would have Excel stage one same as the um, the access course Excel Excel stage two and Excel stage three. So what I want to put on this one is just some general information and I'll create a template um, based on what I put here. And then I can quickly create additional pages. I'll just move this out of the way. So I'll call this general, general info. And then under general info, I want to Put a spreadsheet so a new excel spreadsheet and it'll just generate a spreadsheet which i can then edit so i want this to be timings so we have start times tea lunch tea again and then finish so the start time will be 0900 Tea break will be 10.45, lunch will be 12.30, tea will be 14.30 and finish at 1600, 1600, 14.30. So that's what I want as my timings. So then I just save that and then close and then that should sit there. Took a little bit of time to come through, but there you go. You've got your timings. Now to do those little hyperlinks, you have to do this. But before I do that, I, do, I need to get some extra pages. So um, if I go into Excel one, I'll call this overview. And uh, on Excel one, I'll create a page. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Word. I've got a Word document open and I'm going to print this into my OneNote. It's already set up, so I've selected OneNote from this drop down list. And then when I click on print, it should ask me um, where it goes for going to OneNote. It's asking me where to put this print. So there's Excel, Excel stage one, current section. So let's just put it there. Okay and it drops it in there. So that's okay, back to the main. So that's called overview, nothing on overview. I'll just draw a little table actually, so you've got something there. Um, and then you've got a second page, which is the printout, which is this Word document. Now, this information here is what I want to be saving as a template. So I've got these sections, and on this page, I've got two pages. 
in fact i'll create a third page add a page and just call this um manual and then the manual can be added onto this one so maybe insert a file which is the manual for this course so just go to um training manuals excel 2020 that'll do i know it's um attached file so i could insert the printout but i don't want to do that so now i've attached the file on that one so go back onto this and start doing the the links so the way you do that is you do a square bracket and then you type in so excel stage stage one two square brackets immediately creates a link excel oops square brackets excel stage two two square brackets and then excel stage three two square brackets each end like so now to do a page so if i go into this you've got the manual and the printout so i'll do those so two square brackets manual two square brackets two square brackets printout two square brackets so then you get a hyperlink to pages within sections so i'm the first to admit there's no point just doing that when you've got the tabs across the top but sometimes you've got a lot of tabs across the top and you have to click on um the arrow that, that appears at the end when there's not enough space to show you all the tabs so then that would be of use but if you've only got three or four tabs you don't need to do that for the tabs but the individual pages within the tabs that's a great little feature and because we're going to create this as a or save this as a template this little bit and whatever else you want to put on here you can then use that anywhere and have this little index list on any um, page. So when you click on templates, you've got a list of templates, like I said before, and then save the current page as a template at the bottom, which is what I want to do. And I'll call it um, general info saving that and then that should come up underneath my other one general info and then you can go on to each of these click on general info creates general info same thing general info same thing general info and you can get rid of that untitled page and just have that general info at the top like so so I'm just creating a new section calling it comments because I want to use the um, notes feature I'll show you the notes feature so my ideas is what I'll call this page my ideas now you've got on the review tab linked notes as an option just get rid of templates so clicking on linked notes opens up a pane on the right hand side and it's asking me where do you want to put these linked notes i'm going to click on my ideas and then okay now if i go back into that word document i'm now looking at this word document uh just get rid of this and making a comment on it so don't like the layout i do really and you can see it gives you a little link to this document which is called name if i go into powerpoint and you make another comment color not great like that and you can see a little link to a powerpoint it's called axis test okay so if i then come back into OneNote, 
what I've been typing you can see is sitting in my ideas which is what I've created there and then I can close this link down and then your notes are there and if you need to open that document you can do so like so come back into OneNote same with the PowerPoint if I can find the document there it is okay you can tick that if you don't like this and you're back into that so it's a very quick way of creating a central place for you to make comments about documents that you're working on or that you need to report on so that's linking uh, notes linked notes now when you see this symbol on the right there you can break the link you can go into options and in options you've got this you can take these off you can remove links whatever you need to do Let's cancel that now just to finish off on this if I go back quickly through this uh, insert tab I just want to mention um, screen clippings and some of the other things you've got there so you've got online video you can bring into these documents uh, this is my idea so I'll go back into the main say you want um, a video if I go onto YouTube and just grab one of my videos, this is a publisher video. So I'll grab that and then paste that link in here. That's just going to drop that in. Just move that over a bit. And when I click that, it will play that video within OneNote. I can obviously expand that and go onto YouTube and watch it through YouTube, but now it's just playing within OneNote. Just pause that, I don't want to do that. Now, you can also record video, which is there, and record audio, and the files will stay there. Um, I'm not going to do that because then you'll see my pretty face, but um, the same process, It will just that will just start your webcam and that will just record your voice if you just wanted the voice. Screen clippings is something I use quite a lot. Um, this gives you the option to do stuff like this, and then that becomes uh, an image in your OneNote file. When I'm trying to find things or research things, that's what I do quite a lot. Just grab a load of information, drop it into OneNote, and then come back and then sort it out later. Um, especially web addresses and stuff like that. When I want to, when I want to get back to stuff, I've already done the file printout attachment table spreadsheet and you've got pictures that's straightforward insert a picture from uh, your computer or online linking is the same as what we've just done there you're creating a link to that so you can create a link to another document if you want um but that's like the shortcut file i brought in can't remember where i brought that in now is it on the top there so that's like a link to a file even though i went through a file attachment it is just a link to that file. And then you've got date time features there, which are exactly what it says on the tin. Date time or both together. And then templates. You've just been doing templates. And now you can see the ones that we've been doing are listed as recently used. Um, draw. I'm not going to go through draw. Um, history and review. All these features are available for you. Password protecting tabs. When I use this on my own book, this one, I've got quite a few things um, password protected. Uh, personal notebook, sorry, this one. These are all password protected. You can see that. You need a password to get into all of these, which is great. Obviously, don't pass your password around if uh, you don't want other people to know what's in there. Um, but that's really the end of this session. The main focus for this was um, creating the template and doing these, these little links and using the notes feature like so, which I think is a really, really good feature. So anyhow, that's the end of this session. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.